This is Lord Thaddeus Cray, and this one is a movie review on a film called Dawn of the Beasts. The movie is actually... <laughs> it is uh, a lot different than the last one I reviewed, Devil's Gate. That one was about aliens. This one is different. It is about cryptids. Mainly two of them. Wendigo and Bigfoot. That's right. <laughs> I should say mini Wendigo. Dawn of the Beast is a good way to waste an hour and a half of your life you can't get back when you're bored. Don't expect anything out of this movie of any grand anything. But if you want to see some halfway decent, cheesy but decent effects and monsters killing each other, and of course killing a bunch of uh, dumbass people, believe me, this is your movie. So what is the plot? Well, what little plot there is, is uh, it, it's about this professor and these students, I guess they're like a cryptid exploration group or parapsychology, what do you want, what, uh, not parapsychology, paranormal investigation group, and they would say these guys, they go out into this, these woods, and they stay at like this cabin or someplace where there's been rumors of Bigfoot sightings. The professor, the professor and I guess his main student, or maybe his you know, maybe the guy who's in charge of, right under him, of uh, this little expedition, which I call it that by, uh, with quotation marks. Because <laughs> these guys don't know their butts from a hole in the ground. <laughs> I'm not saying I would either, but <laughs> to the point, these guys have enough sense that I have hair follicles. You have your basic group of losers and doofuses. Of course, one of them that's actually halfway interesting is a dude who is obviously whooped. And what I mean by that is he is a, he's like the original simp. This guy is trying to impress this other chick who uh, obviously is, is very shallow and she has some problems. So anyway, on the way to this uh, cabin, they encounter a body. And of course, you know, they're being not very bright. They're thinking to themselves, you know what? Let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, we'll call the police or whatever once we're done with our little uh, film project or whatever it is they're doing. Big mistake. I'm going to put a few spoilers out there because, like I said, I mean, this movie, there ain't much plot to it. But it's very interesting. So anyway, they, you know, make themselves as uncomfortable as they can in this little cabin, you know. And, of course, there's not much in the way of cell phone service, which is, of course, intentional, on the part of the quote-unquote professor. This guy is obviously wanting to get his students out there to look out for things and really see what's going on. As time goes on, we find out that pretty much <laughs> there's not just Bigfoot out there. People, of course, start dying left and right, and for the most part, it ain't the Bigfoot that's doing this. They find out the hard way, especially when that girl that the poor simp has gotten, uh, Attached to, <laughs> let's leave it at this, she pretty much become, she becomes possessed by the Wendigo. That's exactly what they're dealing with. Wendigos. These things look like chud. That's right. Cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller looking monsters from uh, that movie. They look like a bunch of freaking chuds. I'm not kidding. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if they, I don't know. But I do like the, uh, the effects, despite the cheesiness of the monsters. Basically, she becomes possessed, and uh, other people that may have become possessed or whatever. This is supposedly takes place during a certain amount of time. That these creatures have free ro reign or roam to go around killing things and eating people. So anyway, she's claimed she joins their ranks. And it's revealed, as this is going on, that the professor actually knew about this. And he was just... <laughs> I'm not really sure what he was wanting too much. Maybe some type of extended tenure or something... He was wanting to really explore some things, and the fact is, he brought the students along, kind of under the premise of just looking for Bigfoot, when that was a bunch of baloney. But Bigfoot is definitely in the film. Matter of fact, he seems to be one of the good guys, from what I've seen. Pretty much, straight out, the Bigfoot, <laughs> you know, wants uh, the simp, or whoever this dude is, he finds out that that broad that pretty much got possessed by the uh, Wendigo is not, uh, definitely does not have his best interest. Apparently, there's another chick who, uh, she actually is like, you know what, you're a nice guy, I'm gonna help you out. And let's say the two of them join forces once many of their 
classmates have already become, you know, Wendigo food. I think the Bigfoot may have killed a couple of them. I can't even remember. But anyway, the point is that at that point, you know, they, of course, themselves are trying to fight these Wendigo off, and the girl, of course, ends up being killed because it's a horror movie. <laughs> anyway... He survives, barely, but he also witnesses, right before he's about to be eaten, Bigfoot. Yes, a, a very cliche, but actually half entertainingly well done, Bigfoot, that uh, pretty much fights the monsters, and of course, there's other filler plots in there that I, I can't even really think about, and I'm not going to go into all that. But at the same time, this Bigfoot, of course, fights off the Wendigo and saves his life. If you want to call, <laughs> you know, basically seeing all your friends and uh, potential uh, interests become uh, either possessed by when you know Wendigo or eaten by a bunch of uh, shed wannabe looking Wendigo. Hey, I mean, if you want to consider that being lucky enough to survive, not to mention you're probably scarred for life. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. If you want to check out this movie, I do recommend it. If you want to waste some give your time, and like I said, don't go into anything expecting anything, you can get on, I remember I you can pretty much get it on any movie station for about four bucks, you know, Amazon Prime, YouTube, etc, etc, Vudu, Google Play, I mean, you can get it, I mean, believe me, you want to see Dawn of the Beast, it's there to definitely rent, or buy, I would, honestly, I mean, it's worth about, you know, this is, like I said, it's a couple of bucks, which was definitely worth the effort, it's just something to think about, and uh, hopefully, You'll get a kick out of it kind of like I did. You guys be careful and be blessed.